Point of view is a life position or opinion from which each of us evaluates events happening around us. This term originated from the definition of the observer's location, which determines their visible perspective. In life, we often encounter situations where we need to defend a particular point of view and sometimes persuade someone to adopt it. In this video, we will discuss nine ways to persuade people and defend our point of view. The material is taken from the most popular book by Dale Carnegie. Avoiding arguments may seem paradoxical, but the more we try to win an argument, the fewer chances we have. By argument, we mean something pointless and emotional. It is precisely these types of arguments that bring us problems. To avoid them, we need to realize the importance of avoiding arguments as such. Let's consider a story from the author's own life. I'll present it in the first person. During a formal dinner, the gentleman sitting next to me told an amusing story based on a quote, there is a divinity that shapes our ends. The storyteller mentioned that the quote was from the Bible. He was mistaken, and I knew it for sure. To assert my significance, I corrected him. He became insistent, saying, what? Shakespeare? It can't be. This quote is from the Bible, and he knows it for sure. Not far from us sat my friend, who had spent several years studying Shakespeare, so we suggested letting him settle our dispute. He attentively listened to us and then playfully stepped on my foot and said, Dale, you're mistaken. When we were heading home, I told you that this quote is from Shakespeare. I replied, of course, you're right, but we were at a formal dinner. Why argue over such a trivial matter? Listen to my advice, whenever possible, avoid sharp corners. And indeed, there is only one way to achieve the best result in an argument, and that is to avoid it altogether. Because in nine cases out of 10, at the end of the argument, each person remains convinced of their own rightness. As Benjamin Franklin said, if you argue and rankle and contradict, you may achieve a victory sometimes, but it will be an empty victory because you will never get your opponent's goodwill. Think about what matters more to you, a superficial academic victory or a person's goodwill. It is extremely rare to achieve both simultaneously. In one newspaper, there was a wonderful epitaph printed, here lies the body of William J., who died maintaining his right of way. So learn to avoid useless arguments. Adopting a different perspective, this is a life stance or opinion from which each of us evaluates events happening around us. The term originated from the definition of the observer's position, which determines their visible perspective. In life, we often encounter situations where we need to defend a particular point of view or even persuade someone to adopt it. In this video, we will explore nine ways to persuade people and defend our own viewpoint. The material is taken from Dale Carnegie's most popular book. Avoid arguments, paradoxically, the more we try to win an argument, the fewer chances we have. By argument here, we mean something pointless and emotional. Such arguments only lead to problems. To avoid them, it is important to recognize the significance of avoiding arguments as a whole. Let's consider a story from the author's own life. During a formal dinner, the gentleman sitting next to me told an amusing story based on a quote, there is a deity that shapes our intentions. The storyteller mentioned that the quote was from the Bible. He was mistaken, and I knew it for sure. To assert my significance, I corrected him. He insisted, what? Shakespeare. It can't be from the Bible, and I'm certain of that. Not far from us sat my friend, who had spent several years studying Shakespeare. We asked him to settle our dispute. After listening attentively, he didn't hesitate to say, Dale, you're mistaken. We were at a formal dinner together. Why argue about something so trivial? Listen to my advice, whenever possible, avoid sharp corners. And indeed, there is only one way to achieve the best outcome in an argument, avoid it. In 9 out of 10 cases, after the argument, each person remains convinced of their own rightness. As Benjamin Franklin said, if you argue and rankle and contradict, you may achieve a victory sometimes, but it will be an empty victory because you will never get your opponent's goodwill. So, figure out what is more important to you, a mere external academic victory or someone's goodwill. Achieving both simultaneously is extremely rare. In one newspaper, a wonderful epitaph was printed, here lies William J., who died defending his right of way. He was right, dead right, as he sped along, but he's just as dead as if he were wrong. So learn to avoid useless arguments. Admit your mistakes, the ability to admit one's mistakes always yields remarkable results in any circumstance. It benefits us more than trying to justify ourselves when we are wrong. Every person wants to feel their significance, and when we are wrong and condemn ourselves, our opponent has only one way to satisfy that need, to display generosity. Ponder over it. However, for some reason, many ignore this simple truth and, 
even when their wrongdoing is obvious, try to find arguments in their favor. This is a losing position that a worthy person should not take. Therefore, if you are wrong, admit it immediately and sincerely. Be friendly, if you want to win someone over to your side, start by convincing them of your friendliness, and do so sincerely. Kindness and a friendly approach persuade us much better than force and aggression. Engineer Staub wanted his landlord to lower the rent, but he knew the owner was stubborn and unyielding. So, he wrote a letter stating that he would vacate the apartment as soon as the lease expired. When the landlord received the letter, he visited the engineer accompanied by his secretary. The engineer warmly welcomed them and didn't mention anything about money. Instead, he expressed his admiration for the house and how well it was maintained, saying he would love to stay for another year but couldn't afford it. The landlord, who had never encountered such an approach from his tenants, was a bit puzzled. He began talking about his own concerns and complaining about other tenants. Finally, without any request from the engineer, the landlord offered to adjust the rent to a level that would suit him. However, if the engineer had tried to achieve a rent reduction by using the methods of other tenants, he would likely have faced a similar failure. The friendly and gentle approach to problem solving is the way to go. The Socratic method, Socrates, one of the greatest ancient Greek philosophers, had a significant influence on generations of thinkers. He employed a persuasive technique known today as the Socratic method. It has several interpretations, but one of them is to obtain affirmative answers at the beginning of a conversation. Socrates would ask questions that his opponent would be compelled to agree with, building up a list of affirmations until they reached a conclusion contrary to their previous objections. The Chinese have a proverb that encapsulates the wisdom of the East, he who softly treads the path speaks the farthest. Note that many politicians use the method of obtaining affirmative answers from a crowd when they need to win over an electorate at a rally. Now you know that this is not a mere coincidence but a well-established method skillfully utilized by knowledgeable individuals. Therefore, if you want to persuade people and defend your point of view, learn to formulate questions correctly, ones that your opponent will be forced to answer affirmatively. Let the interlocutor speak. Before trying to persuade someone, give them the opportunity to express themselves. Don't rush or interrupt them, even if you disagree. By using this simple technique, you not only better understand them and their perspective, but also create a favorable disposition towards yourself. Additionally, it's important to recognize that most people prefer talking about themselves and their achievements rather than listening to others talk about themselves. To successfully defend your point of view, allow the other person to fully express themselves. This helps them let off steam, and afterwards, you can more easily convey your position. Always give the interlocutor a chance to speak. Honestly try to understand the interlocutor. In a conversation, people tend to focus on presenting their own point of view first and only later, perhaps if all goes well, try to understand the other person. This is a significant mistake. Each of us holds a certain position on a particular issue due to certain reasons. If you can understand what guides your interlocutor, you can easily convey your own perspective and even sway them to your side. To do this, sincerely try to put yourself in their shoes and empathize with their motivations. The life experiences of many remarkable individuals demonstrate that success in relationships with others is determined by sympathetic attitudes towards their points of view. If you take only one of the advice mentioned here, let it be the strong inclination to consider things from the perspective of others. It will undoubtedly be a significant step in your development. Rule number six states, honestly try to understand the interlocutor and the true motives behind their words and actions. Show empathy. Want to know the phrase that ends disputes, destroys animosity, creates goodwill, and compels others to listen attentively? Here it is, I don't blame you for feeling that way. If I were in your position, I would undoubtedly feel the same. Such phrases soften even the most quarrelsome interlocutors. Moreover, by saying it, you can consider yourself genuinely sincere because if you were truly that person, you would undoubtedly feel the same. Reasoning impartially, each of us can conclude that we are who we are not through our own merit but due to circumstances such as the family we were born into and the upbringing we received. Therefore, an irritable, impatient, or thoughtless person also deserves no more condemnation for being who they are. Pity them, sympathize with them, and show them kindness. Tell yourself what John Goff said when he saw a drunkard standing on his own two feet, there, but for the grace of God, go I. Three quarters of the people you meet tomorrow are thirsty for empathy. Show it to them, and they will love you. In the book Psychology of Education, Dr. Arthur Gates says, the human being passionately desires sympathy. A child willingly shows their bruise or intentionally inflicts a wound to evoke warm sympathy. With the same purpose, adults in great detail talk about their misfortunes and await compassion. 
Therefore, if you want to persuade people and defend your point of view, learn to first display empathy towards the thoughts and desires of others. Make your ideas vivid. Quite often, simply stating the truth is not enough. It requires vividness. Of course, this doesn't necessarily have to be something material. In conversation, it can be an artful verbal illustration that aids in understanding your thoughts. If you master this technique, your speech will not only be rich and beautiful, but also extremely clear and comprehensible. There was once a rumor circulating about a well-known newspaper that claimed it had too many advertisements and too little news. These rumors were causing significant harm to the business, and they needed to be addressed somehow. The management took an unconventional step. User has provided more than one message in a single input. Let's summarize if you want to learn how to persuade people and defend your point of view, follow the following rules. Avoid arguments and disputes. Acknowledge your mistakes. Be friendly. Use the Socratic method. Allow the other person to express themselves fully. Honestly try to understand the other person. Show empathy. Make your ideas vivid. Challenge conventional thinking. If you find this video helpful, please share it on social media and give it a like. If you have any thoughts on this topic, feel free to write them in the comments and subscribe to the Peak Persona channel. Thank you.